Do you want to watch a YouTube video? Yeah, the pineapple. Hey, what's up, YouTube fam? Hadn't done pods in a while. Had before me habaneros. Now, I'm told these are not your typical habaneros. That's what I'm told. Y'all may remember a while back, um, we have a, um, it's a feed and seed hardware store uh, in Huffman, Texas. And they have, um, from time to time, pepper growers will bring some pepper, they'll bring other produce and stuff like that. And, well, uh, sometimes it's for samples, like the peppers they'll have up by the register. And I asked, uh, can I have some of those? I said, here, what, we can't eat them. You take the rest of them. There's eight left here. And they said that these are the hottest pepper. The pepper grower, I guess they grow habaneros and other things maybe, said that these are the hottest they've ever grown and was kind of remarking on it. I'm like, wow, let's try them out. <laughs> now, my tolerance is low. I haven't been doing spicy stuff. I did a... What a Robbie of uh, Rhett uh, Grizzly Heat's tincture the other night, and I could tell the difference. I could tell the difference. So I know my tolerance is down. But man, I mean, it, it's hot tincture, don't get me wrong. Man, it was really hot the other night. And so that's been two or three days ago, and I haven't had anything spicy since. So we're going to get into eating these really hot habaneros they say they're rather small in my opinion this is the biggest of the bunch right here but we know that small does not necessarily mean anything because i've had some small pods that were hotter than the big pods for sure but i do know they feel really firm so i don't know if that means that they're not very hollow i could go get the knife and cut them open i suppose this one particularly feels really solid. Let's eat it halfway through going this way instead of the long way like we usually cut them. I don't know. Let's let's bite it and go the long way. Don't ever see that. Everybody cuts it with a knife, myself included, when I do it. Hmm. It's a whole lot of placenta. <clears throat> Just assessing that particular one. I will say for a habanero, that is that is pretty warm for a habanero. That is not a typical habanero heat. I'm, I'm I agree with that. No, it's not moved my needle yet, but we're gonna go until my needle gets moved, or at least try to. These are kind of like ghost hot. Honestly, these are not the heat you get out of a grocery store. <laughs> no siree. That went up in my sinuses a little bit. <clears throat> Ooh. Very tasty though. Huh, went up <clears throat> my sinuses really does something <clears throat> heat on these
I don't know. It's hard to say I'm at a one right now. Maybe. Maybe. I'm the builders. When you do multiples, they do, believe it or not, pack a punch. Really good flavor. Pack a good punch when you do multiples. Well, you got to think about it. Look at what their Scoville is and you get two, three, or four of them and you're right there with a the super hot, you know? Just gotta keep going. Man, I wish I had a whole bunch of these. Maybe one. Maybe a one. I detect heat. <laughs> um, and it might have moved to one, maybe. But they are, I need to go get some regular habaneros from the store. I should have done that. And compared them to these but um but um typically when i get like a sack of habaneros for like training when i don't have pods and stuff um when i'm in training not when my tolerance is way up there i can eat 20 of those and that's where i start getting the good the good heat this was eight of them and they're hot. I definitely think that they're hotter than a regular habanero. Now, are they ghost pepper hot? Maybe if they were bigger. And I can see them if they were longer with the same, you know, being ghost pepper hot. Pound for pound, I could say, yeah, they probably are. But, um, got a little nose run from it. Not bad. Not bad. Little tongue burn. It started a little bit into the throat. And since it's migrated away from there, I don't know where that went, but I guess it kind of flew up in the air. Maybe into outer space. Who knows? Hmm. But that being said, um, the heat's tremendously dropped off if the, from what it actually was. So... In order for me to pick up any notes on a tongue at this point, really, you kind of have to do the old trick where you kind of push your tongue in on your roof of your mouth. Get a little from doing that. But, uh, I don't know, I hadn't d did much uh, pod munching in a while, so thought I'd get on here just as a little exercise. Um, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I was talking to Pyro Pitbull earlier. And he was asking when I was going to do that chocolate bar. I need to get around to doing that. I need to get some mashed potatoes. For that. I, I, chocolate and me. Oh my lord. I get the worst cat cramps from chocolates. From hot, you know, spicy chocolates. Even though it's 16 Reapers. I ain't at all worrying about the mouth burn. I just know what comes after. And it it's rough. It is rough. Like dog barking rough. Get it? Alright, Joe. This has been a Mike Oxmall production.